Today we're going to be doing an easy Texas style smoked turkey on the Ugly Drum Smoker. Stay around. Alright guys, so we actually brine this turkey and I do apologize there's some wind. Hopefully the camera doesn't pick up too much of it. So we brine this turkey for 16 hours. and So I went for two hours per pound because uh, there wasn't a ton of salt in the brine. So instead of one hour per pound, I did two hours per pound. And really, there's not a whole lot of prep that I'm going to be doing to it. I rinsed it off. I am going to cut a little bit of this skin off. Uh, but not all of it because uh, we don't want it to shrink up and expose uh, the breast meat. That's about it. I mean, this is already tucked in, so I'm going to untuck it here. The tail meat, that little fin that's usually here, is already cut off. I'm going to untuck it just so I can uh, get it sprayed down with a little bit of butter and then shake it with some seasoning. So uh, let me get it sprayed down with a little bit of this and we'll come back to uh, get it shaken. So I've taken and I've sprayed it down with some butter and I put it on this wire uh, tray here so it doesn't just sit in any of the juices or the runoff. I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with this uh, Suckle Busters chicken rub. It's really sweet and a smoky, uh, smell to it so I, I think it would go really well with our Texas style turkey. So I'm going to hit this back side first, flip it over and do the front. You want to hit it pretty liberally because it is a big piece of meat. got that side coated let's go ahead and do the same on the front the top I'm gonna get quite a bit inside there and uh, lift your leg up get in the pit there get your breast nice and covered always got to get those covered up and make sure your sides are Covered fairly well as well. Now we're gonna let this sit for just a little bit and uh, dry that skin out. Every 30, 45 minutes or so, we're gonna spray it with this, uh, I can't believe it's not butter. We're gonna spritz it down with that to keep this skin nice and crispy. We're gonna get our smoker up to about 310 degrees. And like I said, we're gonna be spinning that top grate every uh, 30, 45 minutes when we spritz it so that there's even heat all the way around it. So I'm gonna let this sit for a few minutes while our ugly drum smoker gets up to town. I'll see you when I'm throwing it on. Got the first 45 minutes in, so I'm gonna go ahead and lift this lid up. We're gonna spin it 180 degrees and squirt it down with some butter. So I'm gonna do this probably two more times before we come back. And all I'm doing is spinning it 180 degrees, spraying it down with some butter, moving the probes around so that the heat gets distributed evenly over this turkey. We're keeping this thing right around 300, 310 degrees. And so I'm figuring after about two more times of this, it'll be ready to start probing it and seeing how close we are to being done. So that's what we're gonna be doing. I'll see you next time when we're probing it to see how close this turkey is to being supper. All right, 
So our ink bird is telling us that this thing is done. So we're gonna take our other ink bird just a second, check it. Second opinion's always good, especially in uh, <clears throat> you know elections. But uh, we're just gonna check it out. There's beautiful color there. That color comes from that amazing rub from Suckle Busters. So we'll sugar it. Ignore the flat spot that was from it. Touching the lid during the early on in the cook. I didn't realize it was that big. Let's check it out. One sixty five on the dot at the breast. And one sixty five on the dot at the thigh. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this off. I'm going to put it in a foil pan and I'm going to tent it so that it can rest for at least a half an hour. I'll see you when it's done resting. So we've let this bad boy rest and it's time to slice into it. It smells absolutely amazing. So let's go ahead and get it sliced. I'm gonna take a slice out of the breast. You know, I'm a breast man. I'm gonna take a slice out of the breast and then a slice of dark meat. I'm not going there. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a cut of each and try it out, all right? Man, look at that juice. All these juices are running out. That is moist and tender. Absolutely amazing. Try this dark meat. The skin is nice and crispy. Look, there's a smoke ring there. Nice and juicy. I don't know if you can see that, but wow. So let's take and uh, we'll try out the dark meat and we'll try out that uh, breast meat as well. All right, now you know I'm a breast man, I got to try these first. This is juicy, tender, there's a bite through perfect on the skin. I'm digging this. Let's try the dark meat. Crispy skin, smoke hits you. This is like a perfect turkey leg. So much juice, that brine puts so much juice in it. Guys, if you haven't tried Suckle Buster's chicken rub, you need to try it on chicken. Probably be great on ribs too, but dude, it's amazing on turkey. I hope y'all have an amazing Thanksgiving. No matter what's going on in the world, no matter how crazy it gets, I hope you love your family, love each other, stand up for what's right. Drink more water. This is Brisket Medic. Please like and subscribe. Hey guys, I appreciate you. Happy Thanksgiving. Mm.